Good day everyone. Once again, welcome back to your virtual learning class. So for today, let's talk about principles in preparing desserts. Are you ready? Let's start. First, select good quality fruits for desserts. Consider the degree of ripeness and they should be free from blemishes, decay, and bruises. Fruits in season are the best both in quality in and in price. Canned fruits may be used during off-season. The advantage of using canned fruits is their consistencies in quality are 100% edible and are processed thus saving time and labor in preparations. Second, Prepare fruits that easily discolor at near serving time as possible. If not, you can dip the fruits in acid fruit juices to prevent discoloration. Next, dessert salad like flavored gelatin molds, fresh or cooked fruits, mousse, and aspects are kept chilled until they are ready to be consumed. And always remember, dressings are not added until just before serving. Fourth, temperature affects appetite appeal. Food are more acceptable if served at the correct temperature. Hot food should be served at 130 degree Fahrenheit, 250 degree Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius to 66 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, cold foods are served at 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degree Fahrenheit or simply 16 degrees Celsius. Fifth, holding time for desserts vary from one dessert to another. The use of food warmers and chillers can hold the foods for a period of time and retain its quality. Sixth, in preparing pineapple salad for dessert, use canned or processed pineapples. Why? Because fresh pineapples leave a bitter taste to the salad. For the seventh principle, reduce acid concentration in making gelatins because acid affects gelation. When we say gelation, it is the process when powdered or gelatin bar absorbs liquid or water and swells due to hydration then solidifies upon the addition of hot liquid. Always remember and do not forget that too much acid destroys gelation. Eight, in making a starch solution for thickening cream or fruit pie fillings and puddings, adjust the amount of thickening or simply the starch solution. It is used in relation to time of holding to prevent undue thickening. Ninth principle, in making cream pie fillings, add egg yolks to the flour and sugar mixtures at the beginning of the cooking period. Now, to prevent coagulation of egg yolk, use a double boiler. Tenth, avoid oversteering of tapioca to avoid change in consistency and texture. Remember, Oversteering causes it to be stringy. Next, when making fine thick syrup for frosting, add cream of tartar or corn syrup to dissolve sugar before cooking to prevent the crystallization or simply the formation of coarse, grainy sugar crystal. Twelve, Always use the correct type of flour for butters to prevent gluten formation and to attain the right structure, volume, and texture. Now, for our next principle, avoid overmixing and overbeating of batters for cakes and muffins by using exact timing, especially when using an electric mixer. 
And of course, in preparing lemon pie, add acid to the mixture after cooking and when it is removed from the heat. Alright, at this point of time, for frostings and meringues to produce a stable foam for egg whites, you need to add sugar at the beginning of beating period or when eggs are at foamy stage to avoid overheating and feathering. And lastly, to produce stable foam for souffle, stagger the beating of egg whites in combining with other mixtures and the baking of products when egg whites are used for leavening. Alright, do not forget these principles in preparing desserts in order for you to make, create, and cook a palatable, yummy, and delicious desserts. That's all for now, grade 9. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless everyone.